make your own? Well, if you buy them from the store, mm -hmm. the, if you get the healthy ones, they can be really expensive. Sure. Because the thing is, a lot of them are filled with additives, they're filled with dyes, synthetic ingredients. A Not lot the of, one from the health food stores. No. no they're talking normal. Uh, I'm talking regular mm -hmm. ones. Uh, when you make your own, you control what's in them. Mm -hmm. And if you buy these very healthy ones, Super expensive. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. show you how to make them. Well, let's show show us how. I mean, is there make a vegan option as well? There is. Okay. There what really do we is. need? Yeah. There is. It's it's such an easy recipe. That's what I love about it. And look how pretty they are as well. They are pretty. So what you need is you're going to use fruit juice, organic fruit juice, not juice from concentrate. And the reason is because you want it to be really strong. Okay. okay. Have a lot of taste. What okay. is this one? Uh, this one is elderberry, and mm -hmm. I like to use a juice that has added health benefits. And elderberry is very good for your immune system. Okay. Right. Then we have gelatin. If you're vegan, you can use agar agar flakes. That is a sea vegetable. It's a wonderful um, option for a vegan or a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You have honey, and then you have the vitamins that you're going to use. You can customize. Use which are the vitamins you want. Today I'm using vitamin C powder. Powder, you could do a B, even mm -hmm. a probiotic. Okay. okay. All right. So we're going to set. How do we make these? Well, I actually made a few earlier, so just let's roll in the tape oh. and have a look at those. So what I did was I put the juice in a little saucepan, like so. Then I sprinkled on the gelatin. And here's the really fun part now is that I whisked the gelatin in. And then I left it for a while to see it bloom. It blooms, which means that it absorbs all of the liquid. Then I put it on the heat and it started to liquefy. So you want it to uh, break up and to completely liquefy. Then I'm adding some nice raw honey to it. And then finally, I'm putting in powdered vitamin C or vitamin C, mm -hmm. loading it up there and then Whisk it again, make sure there are no lumps in it. Spray, really important, a chocolate mold or a candy mold I used there. So it doesn't stick, right? Exactly. Then okay. I used a turkey baster just to add it into the little candy molds. And then I am going to let it set for just a couple of hours in the fridge and we are done. And um, what we actually do have here is the little set ones. And mm. you may try one if you like right there, Mark. What if they don't come out of the molds, so though? Mark, they do come out of the They do come molds. out of the molds, really? They do. OK. Mm. All right, and uh, you can control the amount of well, sweetness. Well, I have my, my vitamin C for the day. You've got your vitamin C for the day. Mm. What, if the, what if you don't oh. have one of these? All right, so if you don't have your molds, it's so easy. You can just use a glass Pyrex dish that you have at home. I have pre-made some here in a little saucepan. I am simply going to. Oh, Actually, would you spray first? This is very important because you will not be able to get it out of the mold. Well, see, that's what I said. What if it doesn't come out of the mold? Well, Mark, you're just so well, smart. While she's doing that, will you? Um... And then in that goes like so. And then you're going to leave that to set in the frigid air. And oh. when you are done, here I'll take this over. Boom! This oh, away. thank you, mm -hmm. Mark. Move that out of the way for and you. And here we have a set one. Now, hang on a minute. What if it doesn't come out of the mold? Oh, so it, what, Mark! See, what if it doesn't come out of the mold? Oh, it doesn't but come it out. Does. Of the mold. Okay, good. Wow. Would you like to cut it yes. into cut it into little cubes? Hey, yeah. hey, uh, drop some numbers on me here. What, what's this cost? All right, in the store, it's upwards of twenty bucks uh, for for, th for a month's supply. For a month's supply, two dollars. What? Oh, two dollars. This is why it makes sense to save yourself your own. some money. Go to Pinterest.com/forward/slash/home/and/family/tv. You'll get the recipe and all the instructions there waiting for you.